Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. As you can see from the title of this video, today I'm bringing you along the largest flea market, at least in my area. It's called First Monday Trade Days in Canton, Texas. It's about an hour and a half away. It's currently 8.30. We're about to head out, grab some quick Starbucks. <laughs> Coffee is a must, obviously. And yeah, I'm so excited. I've never been and I'm excited to show you guys around, kind of take you along, look at all the vendors. I'm not really in the market for something in specific, but they do have a lot of cool vintage home decor and just a bunch of really nice goodies. Um, so I'm excited. We are currently on keto, so I'll be showing you guys how I stick on keto um, on a road trip or when you're going out. Some snacks that I packed for us and I wanted to show you guys also my outfit for today. It is very chilly. Currently my watch is saying 34, but it is sunny. So that should help just warm us up and it's me, my husband, and my mom that's joining and I decided to go on a Friday which I would think is a little bit less busy than on the weekend. We will be wearing our masks obviously and since it's outdoors I don't feel too like exposed. So this is my outfit. You can't really see too well but I'm wearing this really cute um, sweater that I got from Target, some Abercrombie & Fitch jeans, and my Air Force Ones. These just go with everything and they're super comfy. We'll be walking around a lot. Um, I love the style of these jeans. They're just super comfy and high-waisted. So yeah, I will see you guys in the car and I will show you um, our breakfast and everything and, you know, once we get to Canton. Bye! Okay guys, so I wanted to show you our snacks and things that I packed us for um, keto since we're going out. I think it's important to like have snacks and things so that we don't feel tempted to cheat. So one of the snacks is pork rinds. These are really good. Um, they're cilantro lime and kimchi barbecue. And I of course had to pack our swerve sugar um, in case we want coffees we can add this to our drink I also packed some jicama with lime and tahine to snack on and some cheese sticks in case we want that um, I also packed us our little sweets these are the peanut butter cookies and almond flour muffins some valentina for our Boiled eggs with a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. He's being grumpy today, guys. I'm being grumpy. <laughs> I'm being grumpy. And okay. the main meal, boiled eggs. <laughs> so we're going to eat, have our coffee, and be on our way. And we arrived. Clearly, I was very excited to bring you guys along. These signs were beautiful. They reminded me a lot of my friend's new business. She does also make beautiful hand-lettered signs. They can say whatever you want. And this gave me a lot of really good ideas to request. So if you guys are interested in something like this, I'll put her information down below. But it was really nice to see all the vendors handmade, the vendors handmade signs and decorations. We had to stop at every candle shop in Canton. It was fun to just smell all the different candles and since they're handmade, they're just very unique. Another great smell was this kettle corn that I unfortunately couldn't have. My mom loves popcorn as much as I do, so she got some popcorn and enjoyed that throughout our, our day. to the food court after a little while we did get hungry so we were able to have turkey legs and some chicken kebabs even though we were on keto there was some options for us and we obviously had our snacks my mom enjoyed a pretzel which looked really really good Here I am, very excited about my Topo Chico. Clearly, 
doing a little dance for you guys. <laughs> This was so funny. This lady had a sign on her little mobile cart. She had no idea that looking for a sugar daddy. Her friend pranked her, so that was funny. This was my favorite shop out of the whole market. They had such cute home decor for such a good price. I definitely want to go back here when I'm redoing a room, um, either in my home or a friend's home, and just shop because this place was was so reasonable and their stuff was so cute. I wish I knew the name of the shop, <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna go back. Again, there were so many cute markets and places where they repurposed a lot of old furniture and just upcycled really cool, unique pieces for your home. So I definitely wanna go back again when I'm redecorating a room or something and just find some good deals here. This shop was so cool. It had like a bunch of little trinkets and I was fascinated by this kaleidoscope. You shake it and it just like changes uh, colors and design. And I wanted to show you guys, I was like, film the inside. <laughs> I love this kind of stuff. I also really enjoyed these binoculars. They're like old school binoculars, super heavy, good quality. I did hit my face the first time I tried to flip them over. <laughs> and in a whole other section of Canton, they have puppies. You guys, puppies are so cute. So many different kinds of puppies and we had such a nice time just looking at them and petting them. Look at you guys, they're so cute. They were all just kind of sleepy and some of them had a lot of energy as well. <laughs> this puppy stole our heart. I wish that we would have gotten her him. Look at, oh my goodness. Just a sweet, sweet puppy. Yeah, I could have spent all day here looking at the puppies. They were just so floofy and cute and expensive <laughs> as well. Definitely don't want to pay $2,000 for a puppy, but some people, they spend the money and I get it. They're so cute. This one was so cute. Every time you touched it, it would hide its little face. <laughs> like pop up and then oh hiding again <laughs> so cute not only did they have puppies but they had like farm animals we saw donkeys and goats and chickens and turkeys ducks were like scared and like going in circles in the cage. It was so funny. They had mini horses and ponies and baby cows. We had a lot of fun looking at these cute, cute animals. But not all of them were cute. There was hairless rats. Gross. I don't know why my husband filmed that, but that was it you guys. We spent a really nice day together. We saw the sunset, got stuck in two hour traffic, which was great, but I definitely recommend you guys go to Canton, get yourself a candle like I did. <laughs> this one smells so good. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Please subscribe and like this video if you want to see more vlogs and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.